Chapter 3 The Northern Plain Region Desert We will study the following points in this chapter. Physiography Climate Soils Natural Vegetation and Animal Life Population and Settlement Economic Development which includes Agriculture Mining Industries Transportation Tourism, Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems Introduction The Northern Plain is the second largest geographical region of India. It lies between the Himalayas in the north and the peninsular plateau in the south. It has an area of 6,77,638 square kilometers. It is an alluvial plain formed mainly by the deposits of the Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers. The plains stretch from Rajasthan plain in the west to the Assam valley in the east. It has a length of about 2400 kilometers and width varying between 150 and 500 kilometers. It has an average elevation of about 150 meters. This plain can be divided into four ways. Rajasthan plain, deserts, western plain, Punjab, Haryana, central plain, delta region and eastern plain. Three point one physiography Rajasthan plain slopes toward west and south. The northeastern part of the region has an average elevation of three hundred meters, while the southeastern part is less than one fifty meters. There are many small scattered hill rocks marking the western edge of the Bagar. Sand dunes extends over the western parts of the region. The region is drained by the Luni River which rises in the Aravlis and flows into the Ran of Kutch. Bearing the southeastern part, most of the region has an inland drainage system which terminates within the land without finding its way to the sea. Do you know the Luni River is also referred as the Lavanvari River, which means salt river in Sanskrit. It rises in the Pushkar Valley of the Aravali Range. Luni is the only main river in Rajasthan Desert. The region is divided into two sub-regions. Three point two climate. The region is the hottest part of the country. The temperature during day is high and temperature during night is low. Temperature is 0 degree Celsius in the winter and 50 degree Celsius during the summer. The annual range of temperature is 50 degree Celsius. A strong wind with a speed up to 30 kilometers per hour leading to high evaporation in summer. Rainfall is scanty and uncertain. The desert receives annually an average rainfall of less than 250 millimeters. The amount of rainfall decreases from east to west. Most of the rainfall occurs in the month of July and August. Parts of Jaisalmer often remain rainless. Due to high rate of evaporation, 
the water table lies at a depth of about 50 to 150 meters and the water is saline. Amazingly, the local people have adapted themselves to the extreme temperature, variations and constant water shortage. Three point three soils. The soils of Rajasthan plain are generally characterized as sandy in texture, containing more than ninety percent sand. This soil is fertile but dry in nature. The region has four types of soils. One highly saline desert soil. Two Red desert soil, 3. Yellowish brown sandy soil, 4. Alluvial soil in Looney Basin and Gagar Plain. The soil of Rajasthan desert is prone to wind erosion. High velocity winds blow soil from the desert and deposit some on neighboring fertile lands. Winds cause shifting of sand dunes within the desert, which bury fences and block roads and railway tracks. Permanent solution to the problem of shifting sand dunes can be provided by planting suitable plant species as windbreakers. They also provide protection from hot or cold dry winds and the invasion of sand. 3.4 Natural Vegetation and Animal Life The natural vegetation of this dry area is classified as Northern Desert Thorn Forest. The whole region is largely sandy and bare rocks are exposed. Thus vegetal cover is very thin, only a few trees can be observed. Density and size of vegetal patches increases from west to east following the increase in rainfall. Natural vegetation of Rajasthan desert is composed of tree, shrub and herb species. The shrubs are thorny and have a stunted growth. Trees are short and stunned due to scanty rainfall. Hip bush with long needle shaped branches without leaves is common in sandy soils. Evergreen bushes of care, fog, berry, cagery and cactus are found in a fairly large area at some places. Babul is one of the best fodder trees of this region and it grows even under arid climatic and sandy conditions. Babul grows very well in the arid conditions. Local tree species suitable for planting in the desert region are very few. The introduction of exotic tree species in the desert for plantation has become necessary. Many species of eucalyptus, acacia and cassia have been tried in Rajasthan desert. Israeli, babul and jojoba proved to be the most promising species for the desert afforestation. For planting in these areas Jojoba is grown for its oil that is extracted from the seeds. These trees have also been used to combat and prevent desertification. Due to the diversified habitat and ecosystem, the vegetation, human culture and animal life in this arid region is very rich in contrast to the other deserts of the world. Many species of lizards 
and snakes are found here. Some wildlife species which are becoming rare in other parts of India are found in the desert in large numbers such as the black buck, the Indian gazelle. They have evolved excellent survival strategies. Their size is smaller than other similar animals and they are mainly nocturnal. Other mammals of Rajasthan area include the subspecies of red fox and a wild cat. Protection is provided to them by a local community, the Bishnois. The region is a habitat for about 140 species of migratory and resident birds of the desert. One can see eagles, harriers, falcons, buzzards, kestrel and vultures. The Indian peafowl is a resident of Rajasthan region. The peacock is designated as the national bird of India. Do you know the Bishnois are known as the conservationist to whom the 3.5 population and settlement. About 38% of the total population of Rajasthan state lives in the desert. The main occupation of people in the desert is agriculture and animal husbandry. In past years, there has been an increase in human population. Compared to the other deserts, the Rajasthan desert is the most densely populated in the world. Its population density is about 83 persons per square kilometer. The reason behind this is that the Rajasthan desert is a transition zone between densely populated basins of Ganga on the east and Indus on the west. Due to harsh climate and scanty natural resources, the region has a very low density of population. The living standard of the people in the desert is low. Jodhpur, the largest city in the region, lies in the shrub forest zone. Bikaner and Jaisalmer are located in the desert proper. The settlement in the desert is nucleated. The small population is mostly pastoral. The people of Rajasthan desert having a rich culture and heritage. Traditions folk tales, dances, and music. Three point six economic development. Agriculture and irrigation. The main occupation of people living in Rajasthan Desert is agriculture and animal husbandry. Agriculture is not only dependable proposition in this area. Animal husbandry is the most viable model for arid, drought prone regions. It is supported by trees and grass. Overgrazing, erosion by wind and water, mining, and other industries result in land degradation. Agriculture in this area is uncertain without irrigation. Wells are very deep varying in depth about 30 meters to 120 meters. This water is often brackish and a little saline. 
wells of fresh water are few. Along the western margin of the Aravlis, there is more rainfall and underground water. Your limited irrigation from wells and canals is available. The agricultural production is mainly from the Kharif crops. The Kharif crops include Bajra, Pulses, Jawar, Maize, Sesame, Groundnuts and fodder crops. In the past few decades, the development of canals, tube wells, etc. has changed the cropping pattern. Thus the desert districts in Rajasthan have started producing Rabi crops like wheat, mustard, cumin seed, cotton, etc. The Indira Gandhi Canal irrigates northwestern Rajasthan. This canal has turned the desert green. About 40% to 60% area along the canal district is under cultivation in Jodhpur and Ganganagar districts. On the other hand, Western Rajasthan Desert has a very low percentage of area under cultivation. The water for irrigation comes from wells and tanks. The government of India has started a centrally sponsored scheme under the title of Desert Development Program based on watershed management with an objective to check spreading of desert and improving the living condition of people. Domestic Animals a large number of farmers in the Rajasthan desert depend on animal husbandry for their livelihood. Cows, sheep, goats and camels account for a major part of the cattle population. Bama district has the highest cattle population, out of which sheep and goats are in majority. Some of the best breeds of bullocks such as Kankrej, Nagwari, Tharparkar and Rathi are from the desert region. Lohi breed of goats and Bikaneri and Jaisalmer breed of camels are the mainstay of the people in the dry western part of the region. Desert region of Rajasthan is the biggest wool producing area in India. Chokla, Marwari, Malpuri and Pungal breeds of sheep are found in the region. Of the total wool production in India, 40% to 50% comes from Rajasthan. The wool of Chokla breed of sheep is considered to be of superior quality. Breeding centers have been developed for Merino sheep at Suradghar and Bikaner. Some important mills for making woolen thread have been established in Jodhpur and Bikaner. The livestock depend on common lands in the villages for grazing. Livestock rearing is an important occupation in the region. Vast areas in the desert are unfit for cultivation but have pastures. During famine years in the desert, the nomadic people 
move with large herds of sheep and camel to the forested areas of South Rajasthan or nearby states like Madhya Pradesh for grazing the cattle. Livestock is very important to the Rajasthan desert people. The importance of animal husbandry can be understood from the organization of a large number of cattle fairs in the region. Cattle fairs are largely organized by people and normally named after the folk deities. Some of the major cattle fairs held are Ram Devji Cattle Fair at Mansar, Tejaji Cattle Fair at Parbatsar, and Malinak Cattle Fair at Tilwara. Do you know the sheep wool from Rajasthan is considered best for carpet making in India in the world. Bikanair is the biggest market for wool in Asia. Mining The region is deficient in ferrous and metallic minerals. However, it contains 90% of the country's gypsum and 90% of the country's china clay. This region has abundant building stones, marble and soapstone. Lignite is found in Vikaner, tungsten in Pali and Nagwar, whereas mineral oil and gas in Balsingsor. Rajasthan is famous for quarrying and mining. The Taj Mahal was built with white marble mined from Makrana in Nagwar district. Rajasthan state is the second largest producer of cement in India. It has rich salt deposits at Sambar Lake. Jodhpur sandstone is mostly used in monuments, important buildings, residential buildings, etc. This stone is termed Chitarpathar. Jodhpur also has mines of red stone locally known as Ghatupathar used in construction. Sandstone is found in Jodhpur and Nagwa districts. Lignite coal deposits are found in Barmer, Bikaner and Nagwa districts. Lignite based thermal power plant has been established at Giral in Barmer district. Many companies are planning to install own projects to generate electricity through solar power and thermal power plants. The main places where deposits of petroleum are in Jaisalmer and Barmer district. Barmer district has started petroleum production on a commercial scale. This promises to transform the local economy which has long suffered from the harshness of the desert. Oil India Limited discovered natural gas in 1988 in the Jaisalmer Basin. The Rajasthan Desert seems an ideal place for the generation of electricity from wind power. Solar energy also has a great potential in this region as most days during a year are cloud free. Do you know Sambar Lake is India's largest saline lake and has made Rajasthan in the third largest salt producing state in India. It produces 1,96,000 tons of clean salt every year which is equal to 8.7% of India's salt production. Industries 
Bikaner is the biggest wool market in the world. It is a leading carpet yarn and carpet producing center. Hide and wool industries are prominent. Marwar has number of textile mills. Jaisalmer has tourism and mineral based industry. Jodhpur has textile mills. Metal utensils, ink, sports goods, carpets, engineering and automobile industry. Transportation. Rajasthan Desert has road, rail and air transportation. National highways including Delhi Mumbai highway passes through this region road transport consists of government run rajasthan state road transport corporation buses private buses etc there is a good railway network connecting major cities of this region at present huge proportion of the existing railway network is meter gog luxurious train passes through this region and is very popular with tourists especially foreign tourists the region has an airport in jodhpur which is a commercial and tourist center tourism rajasthan desert in india fascinates tourists by giving them an opportunity to enjoy its world famous camel safari jaisalmer bikaner and jodhpur are three of the historical popular cities for a tourism this tourism industry ranges from cheaper backpacker trek to plush arabian night style campsites replete with banquets and cultural performances during the treks tourists are able to view the fragile and beautiful ecosystem of rajasthan desert this form of tourism provides income to many people three point seven natural hazards and environmental problems Rajasthan desert gets very little rainfall which is around 100 to 250 mm in a year therefore there is a water scarcity throughout the year and also high variability from year to year agriculture in the region is extremely precarious and four out of every 10 years on an average are drought years strong wind blow for 4 to 5 months in a year over a large part of the desert region hot dust storms during summer called andhi are a common feature in rajasthan expansion of deserts is another severe problem for the surrounding region which causes shrinking of agricultural land the rajasthan plain desert the rajasthan plain also known as the great indian desert is the world's seventh largest desert the indian apex describes this region as lavan sagra salt ocean it forms a significant portion of northwestern india do you know rajputana was the pre 1949 name of rajasthan the largest state of the republic of india in terms of area 3 lakhs 42239 square kilometers rajasthan plain includes the desert often called as the marusthali it is located to the west of the aravalli mountains 
spreading over the western districts of Rajasthan, namely Jaisalmer, Barmer, Jodhpur, and Bikaner. According to archaeological evidences, the region was densely inhabited in ancient times. Various sites belonging to the Indus Valley civilization have been discovered here. In the ancient period, Western Rajasthan was covered by sea. Hence, the area contains marine sediments. It is considered that the large amount of sand in this area originated from long-continued aridity and drifting caused by winds. The sand is derived from atmospheric weathering of rocks. It consists of quartz with grains of feldspar. The wind blows with considerable force and sand gets uniformly rounded. Limestone, gypsum and salts are minerals found in this region. Rajasthan Bagar This semi-arid region known as the Bagar lies in the eastern part. The Luni River flowing through the southeastern part of the region has caused gully erosion. The land is slightly undulating with a layer of sand deposition. The northern part known as the Shekavati region has many salt lakes, for example, Degna, Sambar, etc. In the extreme north of region lies the Ghagar plain. However, river Ghagar disappears in the desert itself. The relief features in Rajasthan plain are primarily the product of river Ghagar and aeolian erosion processes. The aeolian processes are more dominant in the western or Marusthal portion where the land is covered with various types of dunes. The geographical structure of the region, level land, dry climate and sandy features do not permit drainage. The Marusthal Rajasthan Desert, known as Marusthal, stretches from the Ran of Kutch up to Punjab. It is a belt about 650 kilometers long and 300 kilometers wide, covering eight districts of western Rajasthan. This region is now categorized by shifting sand dunes, extreme climatic conditions, sparse vegetation, and thin population. The dunes are classified as Saif and Barkhan on the basis of their shape, size, and wind direction. These dunes move according to the wind direction and vegetal cover. There are two salt lakes in Bikaner district. The rocky region of Jaisalmer, Barmer and Bikaner have abundant limestone and sandstone. Rainwater Harvesting Western Rajasthan faces acute water scarcity due to very low groundwater level and lack of water resources such as rivers and canals. To deal with this problem, villagers are encouraged to build and renovate kunj that is called as tanks, johars, ponds, talabs, permanent ponds and to dig wells. Rainwater harvesting has traditionally been practiced 
by the people of the Rajasthan desert. There are many ancient water harvesting systems which were practiced in Rajasthan and are now being revived. Rain water is harvested in Kund for drinking purpose. Traditional step wells are called Bhavdis in Rajasthan. A khadin is an ingenious construction designed to harvest surface runoff water for agriculture. Its main feature is a very long embankment built across the lower hill slopes lying between gravelly uplands. Tankas are underground small tanks found traditionally in most Bikaner houses. They are built in the main house or in the courtyard. They were circular holes made in the ground lined with lime in which rain water is collected. Tankas were often beautifully decorated with tiles which help to keep the water cool. This water is used only for drinking. Kuis are 10 to 12 meters deep pits dug near tanks to control the seepage. Kuis can also be used to harvest rain water in areas with mere rainfall. Most of them are very old. They can also hold water for a long time because of almost negligible water evaporation. Bagar Rajasthan Bagar is a semi-arid transitional plain region between western sandy plains of Marusthali and eastern Aravli's mountain range. Bagar is a plain of Luni and Ghaga river. Barkhan Crescent shaped sand dune which shifts according to wind speed and direction. Marusthal, the sandy arid desert area of western Rajasthan. Fluvial erosion. Erosion caused by rivers. Aeolian erosion. Erosion caused by winds. Rainwater harvesting. Is the accumulating and storing of rainwater for reuse.